Hi guys, it's Amazing Purple Girl, back with my perception of some Tally Hall lyrics. This time it's Taken for a Ride, which is my second favourite song. And I believe this is some analogy of depression and being medicated to deal with it. I'm going to start this video by firstly stating this is my own interpretation and other opinions are of course valid. However, I have closely looked at some of the lyrics and I can't make the connection that this is about being cheated on, as some have speculated due to the title of being taken for a ride, i.e. hoodwinked or fooled. I am also not going to examine every lyric, as there are lines I am not sure about and don't think it's right for me to speculate the meaning of, but I think I got the gist of most of them. Finally, I must stress that I do not have any kind of degree in mental health, I looked at a few articles to see if I could decipher what I felt Andrew meant in some of the lines, and it's helped me to understand what I have been listening to better. I know, just looking at Google is not the best approach, and I'm not pretending that I am touching on remotely any kind of understanding of depression, but I couldn't do this without verifying some thoughts I had. This song is very lyrically complicated, so again, this is just one interpretation of the song, and you probably have your own ideas. This time I'm going to let the song play for each lyric I touch on and not read it out myself. The words will be on screen again. So to our first lyric. Our protagonist Marvin isn't even sure if he's happy. Upon looking more into depression, I found this thing called smiling depression, where someone can look perfectly happy on the outside, but is suffering from depression. I found something that aligns to this opening line. Sometimes people with smiling depression don't know why they keep smiling, and they may not trust their own feelings. They may not even recognize that they are depressed. Therefore, I believe the type of depression depicted in this song is indeed smiling depression from the first line and some later on. Next lyric. Taking this ride in the elevator feels like it is taking forever. Another article I found reflects this with the explanation that depressed individuals often perceive that time seems to pass extremely slowly or even stand still. This is a repeated motif. I was going to examine it with the chorus and then realise it is sung earlier on on its own. I think this is Marvin trying to push the bad feelings away, put them on top of a forgotten hill and they can become whispers. Next the stranded Senate of the white brick house with flowers has some questions for their story. All feeling now he took his bow and left the stage of time with no answers to no questions. These are the hardest lines for me to work out. I think the Senate is just a metaphor for crowds of people that Marvin feels bombarded by. Possibly he gets asked frequently how he is feeling, which is a question he has no answer for. The line states he's all feeling now. This could be metaphorically indicating that he feels he doesn't have an answer. Lonely paperbacks that wanted just a taste of feeling to implode them before living. Just go to that wood inside and said, now take your place in life, we're happy. I think Andrew used paperbacks to show that people should not be taken at face value, that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Take your place in line for happy is Marvin standing in a queue for some kind of drug. I used this line in my edit of the Doctor Who episode Gridlock from series 3. The store vendors asked Martha if she wants to buy various things, one being happy. She asked the doctor, are they selling drugs? The doctor answers, I think they're selling moods. Martha questions, same thing, isn't it? Later, someone comes along and asks for forget and is a lot happier after taking it. And of course, this place in line takes place after mentioning that the paperbacks want to feel something before they can be considered to be living life. And it's an implosion, so they need this to happen on the inside. Again, this sounds like smiling depression, 
functioning on the outside, but they have the weight of the world inside them. On to the chorus. One secondary smile to go that extra mile to make me feel today to make it go away. Okay, so how I interpret this line. Marvin has met someone. They have given him a second glance, that secondary smile. He wants to go that extra mile for them. Now he needs to feel more and make the depression go away. He's only been functioning and not living until this point. The chemistry is gone. Take him for a ride. Far away from you. No longer left inside. This is unfortunately where it gets tricky. I actually have two ideas of what these lyrics mean. Either the chemistry between them is gone because of the drugs and Marvin's been taken for a ride. He thought this would make things better, but it's left him numb. So it's carried him away from the love interest and there's nothing left inside him to feel for this other person. But I think the more likely way to read this is that the chemistry from the drugs is gone and into Marvin. It's his depression that has been taken for a ride far away from himself. And he's no longer feeling that weight inside himself. He's coming out of his shell. The reason I feel this is the more positive angle is this part of the video. Joe has a megaphone and is crying this out in the song in the final repetition of this chorus. Marvin feels free and wants to shout about it. Would someone feeling numb act this way? However, both viewpoints can work with these lines. Actor with his world renowned was thinking about his last real day of silence. Was it over? Acting would be referring to putting on a brave face and being very good at it to be world renowned. Thinking this over, I will say in my mind, Marvin feels like the world is coming at him. Was this his last day of putting on an act for the world? Are the days of having to pretend over? Or is it just we all think that our answer isn't real, it's just a picture of a letter? Another tricky lyric. I think it's talking again about facades. A picture of a letter is a facsimile. And saying we're okay when we're not, because the answer isn't real. It doesn't matter if you answer with lies about being okay, as long as you say it with conviction, and you would be able to fool everyone, so don't worry about it. Marvin is fooling himself into believing that the medication is making him happy. It's a temporary thing, and normality is waiting to rain down. The depression is going to come back when the effects wear off. This isn't true happiness. The final lyrics. Just a moment to and there's something, and there's something, and there's something, and there's something next to nothing, and there's something, and there's something, but you're not. I interpret this as the medication is wearing off. Marvin has been going about his life, doing chores, feeling something. Something next to nothing being a comparison to how he felt nothing, but has been feeling something lately, with nothing merging back in with the something. A few more moments of something, but then he's gone, back into himself, until the next hit. So that's my interpretation of Taken for a Ride. I have tried to take the lines that stood out to me and work out the message, but I'm not saying I'm correct because I obviously don't know. I just wanted to examine the evidence and get my head around it in order to maybe throw some ideas out there. And I hope it helps slightly to maybe decipher some of these lyrics. I don't know, maybe I read between the lines entirely incorrectly. Thanks for watching my theory. Was thinking about his last real day of silence. Was it over?